Good morning, dear students. In the previous lesson, we talked about holding the bow. Before placing our bow on the strings, we need to have some basic knowledge of notation. As you can see on the slide, cello can read both on bass and violin clef. This notation is the English notation. The bass clef is the one below. We also call it F clef or Fa clef because it's based on the fourth line where we have the note Fa in uh, European or F in English. The violin clef is the one above. It's called violin clef because violin uses the clef. It's also called treble clef because the notes are very bright. And it's also called G or Sol clef because it's based on the second line where we have the note G or Sol. On this second slide, it's drawn by a student of mine, you can see all the notes, both in bass and violin clef, but in the European notation. On this third slide, we can see the values of the note. What are the values? It's nothing else than the duration, how long they last, the sound lasts. So we can see the semi breve of the whole note, which is four beats, very long. Then half note, meaning two beats. Quarter note or crochet, one beat. The eighth note, quaver, half a beat. And the sixteenth note, semi quaver, which is a quarter of a beat. It can continue, it could continue for two more values, because the values are seven, exactly like the notes. But for now we stop here, otherwise it's too much information. I'd suggest you to look at those slides, or even better, print them off and hang them on your wall, and slowly learn all the notes, possibly by heart, and their values. But even if you learn just the basic notes, which are Do, which is the thickest string on the cello, the fourth string, Do or C in English, G and Sol, the third string, then D or Re, the second string, and then A or La, the first string, you are very well set off and ready to play. Oh, there you are. Now that you have basic knowledge of notation, you are ready to play. Over the next lesson, I will give you five exercises to develop your bow technique. See you then.